Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the rich history of the Pickett House, a remarkable artifact related to the Civil War. This isn't just any old house, it's the oldest wooden building standing on its original foundation in the entire Washington state. It was built by none other than Captain George E. Pickett, a notable figure who played a significant role in the Civil War. Pickett distinguished himself during the Battle of Gettysburg, leading a dramatic charge that still captures imagination to this day. This house not only stands as a testament to the resilience and grit the early settlers, but also symbolizes Pickett's enduring legacy. So fasten your seatbelts, folks. Join us as we journey through time, unraveling the intriguing events that led to the construction of the Pickett House, the life of George Pickett, and its status today. Our story begins in the mid-19th century, a time when Bellingham settlers feared potential raids from British Columbia First Nations people. It was an era marked by uncertainty, and the settlers sought protection by huddling into the stockade house on Peabody Hill each night. Their fears were not unfounded, and the need for a more permanent security solution became increasingly apparent. Enter Captain George E. Pickett, leading Company D of the 9th Infantry. Dispatched to provide security, Pickett was the strong military presence the settlers had hoped for. But Pickett was not just a military man, he was also a visionary. He saw a future in this new frontier, a place to call home, and set about creating it. High on the bluff above Henry Roeder's lumber mill, Pickett began construction on what would become the oldest wooden building on its own foundation in Washington state. The house, built under Pickett's supervision, was a testament to his determination. It was a beacon of security, a signal to the settlers that they were not alone in their struggle. Nestled on the bluff with a commanding view of the surrounding area, the Pickett House stood as a symbol of protection, a sentinel against the unknown. But the Pickett House was more than just a strategic outpost, it was a home. Pickett's vision extended beyond mere military necessity. He wanted a refuge, a place where he could retreat from the rigors of his responsibilities, a place where he could live, love, and lose. And it was within these walls that Pickett would experience all these and more. The Pickett House, a symbol of security and resilience, was born out of these tumultuous times. It's a testament to the human spirit, a reminder of our ability to overcome adversity. It's a story of survival, of hope, and of the enduring power of home. It's a story that continues to resonate, echoing down the centuries and reminding us of the courage and determination of those early settlers. While Captain Pickett was a military man, he was also a family man. Pickett's personal life was as intriguing as his professional pursuits, marked by significant relationships and personal loss. One of the most profound relationships in his life was with a First Nations woman named Morning Mist. Pickett's life took a romantic turn when he crossed paths with Morning Mist. Their love story was as unique as it was poignant. In an era of conflicts and tensions, their union was a testament to the power of love transcending social and cultural boundaries. Morning Mist was not just Pickett's wife, but also the mother of his child. Their union was blessed with the birth of a son, a joyous occasion that was tragically soon overshadowed by sorrow. Morning Mist's life was abruptly cut short following the birth of their son, a loss that deeply impacted Pickett. The tragedy of Morning Mist's passing was a poignant chapter in Pickett's life. It was a personal loss that resonated within the walls of the Pickett house, a place that was not just a home, but a testament to their love and the life they had begun to build together. Pickett's personal life was intricately woven into the history of the house, making it more than just a historic monument. It was a silent witness to his personal joys and sorrows, the birth of his son, and the untimely demise of his beloved wife. Even after Pickett's time, the house continued to echo the stories of his personal life, adding a layer of depth and intrigue to its historical significance. These personal events added another layer of history to the Pickett House. As time passed, the Pickett House saw a string of different owners. The home, a silent sentinel of history, exchanged hands multiple times over the years. In the decades following Captain Pickett's departure, the house took on myriad roles, adapting to the needs of its various owners. It served as a private residence, a place of business, and even a refuge in times of uncertainty. In the early days, it was a beacon of safety for Bellingham settlers, who crowded into the stockade house at night for protection against potential raids. 
As the town grew and dangers receded, the house transitioned from a fortress to a home and then to a symbol of historical significance. The house's ownership history is a fascinating story in itself. From Captain Pickett, the house moved on to new caretakers. Each owner in their turn left an indelible mark on the house, shaping its story and contributing to its historical significance. Some owners sought to preserve its original features while others made modifications, adding their own chapters to the ongoing narrative of the Pickett House. Eventually, the house found a permanent place in history when it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Recognized for its historical significance, it became a monument to Bellingham's past, a testament to the town's early days and the people who shaped its destiny. Throughout its life, the house has undergone various modifications, each one a testament to the era it represented. Yet, amidst these changes, one thing remained constant, the house's enduring presence. Even today, the Pickett House remains the oldest wooden building on its own foundation in Washington State. Despite these changes, the Pickett House stood firm, a silent witness to the passage of time. The house, like a seasoned storyteller, continues to share its tales with those willing to listen, its walls echoing with the whispers of history. Today, the Pickett House holds a revered place in history. This humble abode, once the home of Captain George E. Pickett and his family, now stands as a testament to the past. Its wooden structure, the oldest of its kind on its own foundation in Washington State, whispers tales of the early settlers and the First Nations people who found a common ground here. The Pickett House was not just a dwelling but a stockade, a fortification against potential threats. It has witnessed the ebb and flow of history from the birth of a new family to the passing of an era. And now it stands as a historical monument, a symbol of a time that shaped the fabric of our nation. Recognizing its historical significance, the National Register of Historic Places has listed the Pickett House amongst its ranks. This is no small feat. The National Register is a federal program that honors and preserves the physical evidence of our past. Being included in it is a mark of honor, a testament to the Pickett House's indelible impact on our history. And its story doesn't end there. The Pickett House continues to be a living, breathing part of history. Today it serves as a museum, a curated collection of artifacts and stories, a window into the past. Visitors can walk through its rooms, touch its wooden walls, and be transported back to a time of pioneers and new beginnings. Furthermore, the Pickett House has found a new family in the Daughters of Pioneers. This organization, dedicated to preserving the heritage of our nation's early settlers, has made the Pickett House their home. They are the caretakers of its legacy, ensuring its stories continue to be told, its history never forgotten. The Pickett House, a beacon of history, continues to share its story with all who visit. From its wooden walls to its historical artifacts, it stands as a testament to the past and a promise for the future. Its doors are always open, inviting us to step in and journey back in time to learn, to remember, and to honor the lives that shaped our nation. From its construction to its current status, the Pickett House is a testament to the rich history of Bellingham. It stands as a symbol of the early settlers' resilience, Captain George E. Pickett's influence and the evolving cultural landscape. Let's take a moment to look back at the journey we've embarked on together. We began with the early settlers who sought refuge in the Stockade House on Peabody Hill and the arrival of Company D of the 9th Infantry led by Captain Pickett. His house, built on the bluff above Henry Roder's lumber mill, is now the oldest building in Bellingham. We delved into Pickett's personal life, his marriage to a First Nations woman named Morning Mist, and the birth of their son. We mourned the loss of Morning Mist and explored the impact it had on Pickett and their son. We then traced the house through its changing hands over the years, watching it transform from a private residence to a historical monument. Despite various modifications, the Pickett House remains the oldest wooden building on its own foundation in Washington State. Today, the Pickett House serves as a museum and a home to the Daughters of Pioneers, a testament to the ebb and flow of history, culture, and human resilience. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click on the notification bell. For more information, check out the links in the description. And remember, you can support our channel by making your everyday purchases through our Amazon and other affiliate links.